ain't pretty, but might end up as good fertilizer. Say for burning one dead freak at a time. Man, this sucks. Right? Corporal St. John, is it? Yes, sir. Come in. Just enjoying a cup of tea, herbal, courtesy of uh, Lieutenant Whitaker. Would you like to try some? It's very good for the digestion. Uh, no, sir. Thank you, sir. I'm, I was just looking for the duty roster. I have an assignment for you. Men, Corporal. Not that they deserve to be called that. They've taken one of ours. Lieutenant Justine Norwood. Fine officer. And they have her, so, uh, yes, I will get her back, sir. With the help of men like you, we're going to take back this world. Dismissed. St. John, I need to see you. I'll be at the Diamond Lake Outpost. Copy that. I'll be there as soon as I can.
Corporal Deacon Sa Hey, you. I haven't seen you around here before. Name's Jacob D'Angelo. Everybody calls me D. St. John, Deacon. So, uh, you're the guy to come to for hardware? You got it, pal. You need guns, I got guns. If I don't have it, it was never made, you know what I mean? Uh, great. I'll keep that in mind. Hey, don't be that way. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, Deacon. yeah? Uh, Corporal, new guy? Name's Caleb. Caleb Tomlinson. Deacon St. John. Yeah, I, I just rode in. Oh, cool, man. Hey, listen, if you need something for your ride, you come see me. Between us, Lucas, the Canuck over at Diamond Lake, he'll rip you off, man. Great, well, keep that in mind. See you, Corporal St. John. Radio works, what's up? Deacon St. John, hey, uh, I mean, you know, nothing. Just, just, <laughs> just checking in on you. I haven't seen you since the old swearing in thing. Oh, some shit. <laughs> Taylor, you know, I'm kind of busy. Well, hey, hey, what, what, the, what the hell you, you got, they got you doing? I'm, I'm in the damn infantry or some shit. Spend all day burning out nests, chopping down trees, yeah. hauling wood. So, sorry, sorry what, are, what are you doing? Research. They got me going out into the shit, finding supplies for the officers, working on... Oh, shit! Oh, I heard about that. Yeah, yeah, working on, uh, on, uh, bio-weapons, chemical weapons, shit like that. Burn them freaks the ground, am I right? <laughs> yeah, fuck. Taylor, I gotta go. Alright, alright, hey, um, hey, look, man, it's, uh, well, it's just, anything I'm, 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 I'm having second thoughts about all this military shit, you know... A marauder camp. These are the assholes who've been ambushing the roads around here. Oh, shit! Huh, that's what I thought. Gotta go. St. John out. I can use this. I got a use for you. Corporal Deacon St. John. <laughs> hey, you got your ears on, man? Hey. Taylor, what do you need? There you are. Okay. Uh, so I finally figured out how to use this damn thing. All right. I got a secure channel and everything. So how's it going, man? <sighs> Taylor, I'm kind of busy right now, so... Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> uh, hey, so words out in the camp that drugs are making their way in right under the colonel's nose. <laughs> it's good stuff, too. But do you know anything about that? I don't do drugs, Taylor, so no, I don't know anything about it. Why? No, 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 no. I don't, I don't either. I'm just... I saw this guy... You know, one of the new recruits acting all suspicious. You're right, Santa? Been out of camp all the time, and so I thought, I thought I'd follow him, right? <laughs> Let's see what the hell he's about. Ah, oh, God damn it, Taylor, listen to me. You just go to Corey, let him handle it. Got that? Yeah, 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 yeah. This is a good call, yeah. Okay, Mr. <laughs> St. John, I'll, uh, I'll talk to you later, man. Yeah, uh, out. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Taylor. Taxpayers. And dumb as they were, we can't underestimate them. You gotta know the chief muckety mucks are hiding out there in some bunker, waiting for the freaks to die off. We didn't save the hungry or their precious constituents. You know the real reason they're in power. 
they saved the elite. The men and women who played ball. They're sitting underground, probably drinking champagne while they wait. Meanwhile, we're out here dying, suffering. Also, the feds can hit the damn reset button. But they didn't account for one thing. We're not as stupid right, as Here's the generator. Work. And once they emerge to reclaim the world when the freaks are gone, we'll be waiting. Oh, yes, we will. And they'll be sorry they ever came out of hiding. This is Mark Kuplin for Radio Free Oregon. Don't believe the lies. Ah, oh, Jesus, even all the way down here, I can't get away from goddamn Radio Free Oregon. I'm just gonna grab some shots.
Another infestation zone. Later, burn out these nests. Nests. I gotta clear them out. I gotta make it safer to ride through here. Full of squatters. Another nest. Shut down. Oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Gotta be close to a nest. I can smell it. Let's burn it up. Later, finish burning out these nests. Now, where is it? God damn, it's has got to go. everything.
I smell it. <sighs> Gotta be getting close. Of murderers and thieves that I can't let any of them escape. Men coming! Open fire! One down. Let's do this.
much. Is that it? Is that all you got? Yeah, that's what I thought. Next time you set up an ambush, don't pick on the wrong guy. All right, let's see if they got an underground bunker around here. Here it is. Projector. Nero had all the good shit.
An injector. Nero had all the good shit. Deer crossing, wow, that's not too smart, even without the traffic. Bounties. <laughs> Colonel, Corporal St. John reporting in, and I'm at the last location where Lieutenant Norwood was seen. Uh, seems pretty fortified, sir. Are you, are you sure you want me to tackle this alone? Just follow orders, Corporal. Garrett out. Yes, sir. Fucking A.
Lieutenant, you in here? Okay, hang on. I'm coming. <clears throat> okay, hang on, I'm coming. How the hell are you doing, Lieutenant? St. Sean. Thank God I'd given up hope. Oh, yeah? Well, a good friend of mine once told me, never give up hope, because you lose that. You may as well just pack it in. Keep that in mind next time I'm ambushed by a dozen squatters. You okay? All right, listen. Camp's clear and your bike's still in one piece, so can you just get back alone, huh? Yeah, I can handle it. Thank you, St. John. Sure, now get going. Go. Colonel, sir, reporting in. It's, uh, well, oh, Jesus, it wasn't easy. But I got her out. Lieutenant Norwood is out. Good work, Corp. I'll send a patrol out now. She said she could make it on her own, so, uh, I'll radio in later, make sure she made it. St. John out.
I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Colonel, sir, just checking in on Lieutenant Norwood. Corporal, I've just read her report. She claims that you took on an entire drifter camp, single-handedly? Well, I wasn't about to leave her in there alone, sir. Very good, Corporal. Captain Curry has put your name in for a promotion. I'm beginning to see why. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. Is it? God damn, this has got to be close. did finish burning out this nesting zone. I smell it. <sighs> it's gotta be getting close. Nest. Gotta be right around here. There's another one. Time to burn.
nest. Got to be right here. St. John, let him in. Corporal Dinkins, St. John, good, good to see you. So, uh, where are you from, Lucas? Was it? Uh, I, I can't place your accent. <laughs> that obvious? Y yeah, fr fr from Canada originally. Yeah, I was down here on holiday with the family, yeah, doing a bit of camping out, you know, uh, w west of Crater Lake. The wife and kids, uh, my boys, would have been eight and nine this year. Canada, huh? Oh, you're a long way from home. Ah, oh, tell me about it. Yeah, I, I was a teacher, uh, engine repair in Calgary, at the Technical Institute. Oh, you ever been? No, no, I guess not. Uh, anyways, the colonel, he, uh, he g gave me this job, so now this is home, yeah? Yeah. Corporal St. John. Oh, Corporal. Uh, New I'll see you around, yeah? Name's Ava Bergstrom. Friends call me Bergie. 
Deacon St. John, yeah, I, I just got here. Well, Deacon St. John, you do your job and we'll get along just fine. How's that? <laughs> yes, ma'am. See you, Hey, Corporal St. John, how's it going? Hey, Sergeant. Corporal, good. I have a job that requires your unique skills. Oh, sure, yeah, uh, yes, sir. You remember Vasquez? The man that went AWOL. Yeah, we tracked him to the logging camp, I remember. Well, this man, Sergeant Lee Anderson, was his partner. He was about to be arrested when he killed a guard and took off. Oh, your men have quite the code of honor. Our men? You're one of us now, remember? I've marked the location on where he was last seen on your map. Apparently, like Vasquez, he wasn't alone. Great. Corporal St. John, what are you up to? Yeah? Hey, Serge. Hang on, I'll open the gate. Captain Corey, I'm the site we're searching him. All right, Anderson, let's go take care of business. No, he's gotta be here somewhere. Where the hell is he? Okay, let's take a look around. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Oh, is that Anderson? I'm tracking. Oh, how the hell am I gonna get my bounty? Bitches, you think you can ambush me? Oh, I've got to find another way to that cave. <laughs> another narrow injector. Good. <sighs> got to get into that cave somehow.
dead coyote lava cave. Well, nothing bad can happen with a name like that. <laughs> Under here. through here. Oh, you still got your militia armband. Murdering assholes can't let any of them get out of here alive.
down. How many of you are left, huh? Another mobile medical unit. Oh. Gotta find a way inside. See if there's a uh, see if there's another injector. You like killing drifters, is that it? How do you like it now? Let's do this, come on, you murdering son of a bitch. Shots coming from somewhere! Sniper! One. Gotta finish this. Okay, it's clear. Dying 
know how it feels being on the other end of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. Where did you hide your bunker, huh? I know you got one. This is it. Bunker. Yes. Here it is. Which way? There you are. <laughs> Gotta take a closer look. Yes. <laughs> now we're in business. 
I'll let you do it. Here we go. And we got green lights. Green lights are good. Okay. Let's see what we got in here. Uh, Nero injector, just what the doctor ordered. Hello, a map. Looks like they marked it out pretty good.
gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. Is it? God damn, this has got to be close. Captain, I found your man, Anderson, and you were right. He still had his militia insignia. He's dead? Well, let's just say that he had a run-in with a pack of wolves long before I got to him. It's a fitting end for a murderer and a thief. Yes, sir. Thank you, Corporal. Dismissed. Corporal Deacon St. John. Good, good to see you. Hey, Sergeant. Yep. Corporal St. John. Uh, I'll see you around, How long were you in? The servants. I mean, yeah, I missed the swearing in, but I can always tell when someone served. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, four years, 10th Army, Afghanistan. Like I told the Colonel, I... I hated every goddamn minute of it. How go, about you? Go, go. Yeah. You, you got the eye for it, too, huh? Yeah. Me? No, no nothing work. so grandiose. Yes, you. Sorry, National you. Guard, eight years. I actually kind of loved it, you know, pushing pencils and Salem and, and playing soldier on the weekends. But you're the real deal. Well, we all did our part. Yeah, we did it that. That is true. Mm-hmm. Corporal St. John. John, what are you up to? I'll yeah? You. Hey, Sarge. Hang on, I'll open the gate. Corporal St. John! <laughs> uh, we tailored at Deacon St. John. <laughs> Taylor, oh, I hear a bike. Tell me you're not out in the shit tracking down that drug trafficker. Okay, okay. <laughs> I won't tell you that, but I am. <laughs> God damn it, Taylor, you're gonna get yourself killed. No, man, no, no. Hey, I followed a bunch of them up the highway. Oh, an Envy 7? Hey, hey, it was, no, it was, it was daylight, <laughs> the weather was clear, I didn't see a single freak. Uh, but there is this, 
This group of uh, uh, men ended up at the ski lodge. There's a ski lodge out here? <laughs> I didn't know that. <sighs> Taylor. It's a sweet ass setup too. If I ever decide to bug out, that is where I'm going. <laughs> oh shit, I gotta run. They're, they're stopping at another camp. Taylor out. <laughs> Taylor. Taylor. Oh, damn it. Stupid kid's gonna get himself killed. Get St. John to Captain Corey. St. John to Corey, come back. St. John, I've just spoken with the Colonel. He's assigned you to the Research Division? Captain, uh, Research Division, or, uh, yeah, I guess you would call it that. Uh, I'm helping Lieutenant Weaver and Lieutenant Whitaker. Good. They can use all the help you can offer. I don't know how much help I'm gonna be, and just sort of their errand boy for now. And actually, that's why I radioed in. Lieutenant Whitaker gave me a requisition form that says yeast. Yeast? Hold a second. We have patrols making supply runs throughout the region. When they come across anything of potential value, they note it down. Yes, here. The yeast and other baking supplies were noted in the kitchen area of the Crater Lake Visitors Center. You know where that is? Yeah, I can find it. Good luck, Corporal. Hurry out. That's the last of them. Uh, guess your days of setting ambushes around here are over. Well, we look like the type to have an underground bunker. Yeah? Ah, uh, shit. Yeah, here it is. Good. Wow. 
What's that? This photograph that yeah, yes. This will come in handy. Bunch of murderers and vagrants. Yeah. We just as soon shoot you as look at you. Hey, asshole, we can see you. I smell it. <sighs> it's got to be getting close. Die out here? Look, there's a camp that... Where? Where? I'll go! I'll go! Diamond Lake, there's a militia camp. You gotta ask for Captain Curry. Thank you so much! I thought I was gonna die in there! Tell him it was St. John, Deacon. They know it. Keep your head down and run!
St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Reporting in. Deacon, uh, <clears throat> Corporal St. John, yes. I, uh, got the item on your requisition form for yeast. There wasn't much. I I'm sure that whatever you have is gonna be fine. So, uh, just curious, uh, why do you need... Sorry, I'm right in the middle of something. I gotta go. I'll talk to you when you bring it in. We'll her out. Damn it. Ma'am? Would you stop doing that, please? I'm sorry? I know that things are strange, but I can't help that right now. Well, I live in a barracks with a dozen militia assholes. Well, my wife lives in a private tent up on an officer's ridge. Nothing strange about that. Deacon. And the only time that I see her is when I'm done running one of her errands. Nothing strange about that either, ma'am. My yeast, thank you. Uh, are, are you baking something? I mean, if you need an oven, I know no, we're fine. No, no, I'm using it to create <clears throat> viral proteins that they, they trigger these antibodies. <laughs> but of course, you are being sarcastic. Bread, viral proteins, it's all the same to me. Hey, wait a second. Here. Thank you. You already said that. And then for stay. Yes, ma'am. No, no. Set them over there. Thank you. Corporal St. John. This is Dr. Jimenez. Hey, you're not supposed John? to be here. Hey, Doc, this is Deacon. What can I do for you? Uh, is something wrong? You need something? No, no, nothing like that. I want to check on that arm. My arm? My, my arm's fine, Doc. <laughs> a burn like that? From a wood stove? It's nothing to play around with. You want La Infección? You come see me. That's in order. <sighs> All right, Doc. Whatever you say. St. John out. Hey, D, we got a question for you. What the hell's an East Coast City boy doing all the way the hell out here? Actually, yeah. I uh, served with a guy from Long Island. Accent's kind of hard to miss. No shit, right? Let me tell you, man. Before shit went down, I used to run this website called You Need Guns? I Got Guns. Dot com. Oh, Jesus. Holy shit. That's where I've seen you before. You had a. 
You had a cable show. Uh, my old man used to watch it back in the day. Yeah, your old man had good taste. Goddamn right I did. I used to travel the country hitting up out of the way gun shows, flea markets, shit like that. Ah, I guess this is about as out of the way as it gets. I guess it isn't that, huh? St. John, this is Captain Curry. Come in. Yeah, Captain, I'm here. Well, I just wanted to let you know that the Colonel gives an informal talk every day at dusk at the staging area where you were sworn in. Uh, yes, sir. Now, while these talks are informal, enlisted men and women are expected to attend. <clears throat> uh, copy that, sir. Curry out. Oh, great. A commander who likes to give fireside chats. Can't wait. Deke, uh, Corporal, I'll see you, man. In a few days, dozens of new recruits have joined our ranks. We welcome them. We do not care about the color of your skin. We do not care what country you were born in. We do not care if you are a man or a woman. We do not care if you are gay or lesbian or bisexual or transgender. These are things beyond your control. These are things that God has ordained. And we accept them. What we do not accept are liars, thieves, rapists, murderers, fornicators, adulterers, oath breakers, drug addicts, or criminals of any kind. From this life or the one before. How you conduct yourself. How you act in the eyes of God. These are things that you do control. Any soldier or officer found guilty of any transgression, no matter how small, will be brought here to this very scaffold and will be hanged by the neck until they are dead. This punishment may seem cruel to some of you, but you have my promise. Any punishment of ours is a great mercy compared to the punishment of God that is being unleashed on the world outside these walls. None of us is perfect. We do not expect perfection. What we do expect is obedience, order, and discipline. Give us these things, and we will win this war. Company dismissed. Hey, Doc. Uh... Come in. Sentence. Have a seat. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. oh. Let's look here. So, who did you ride with back in the day? Uh, <laughs> I don't know what you're uh, getting at. No me mientas. Look, Corporal. I spent 20 years in East LA patching up bandas de motoristas and every other kind of pandillero. I know the look. And this? No kind of wood stole did this. All right. Keep it clean. It'll heal on its own. Leave a nasty scar. But I want you to come back and see me in a couple of days. You got it. Funny thing. When the city burned and the hordes came in, neighborhoods at war for decades all came together. Fought together. Latinos, Gueros, Chinos, Bloods, Crips. Didn't matter. Crazy what it takes to bring people together sometimes, no? Thanks, Doc.
St. John, come in. Taylor to Deacon St. John. Taylor, haven't heard from you in a while. I was afraid that maybe you'd gotten too close to that man you were tracking. Oh, I'm close, all right. I'm right in their friggin' backyard. Hey, I need your help, man. I'm, I'm at, the, at a small camp south of Crater Lake, just off the South Rim Drive. Taylor, listen to me. I have no idea what you're doing, but you got Oh, shit! No, no, no! Let me go! Hey! No! Taylor? Taylor? Damn it! St. John to Lieutenant Whitaker. Come back. Switching to a private channel. Hold on. Deacon, are you there? Yeah. Uh, hey, so I, I looked at that requisition form. It says that you want silicate? Yeah, silicate. I use it as a distilling medium in the column chromatographer. Oh, uh, column chrome what? <sighs> Sorry, it's just it's the one part of my research that's actually going well. So, silicate, where do I get it? Oh, shit, I thought I marked it on the back. Hold on. Okay, there's this little general store southwest of us near Mazama Village. You should be able to find it there. Okay, got it. Thank you. Sorry, never mind. <clears throat> Carry on, Corporal. Yes, ma'am. Uh, Lieutenant. Sarah, out. Silicate. What the fuck is silicate, anyway? I'm here. Look, I know we have a lot to talk about. Ma'am? This is a private channel. Deke? Okay. I want you to know that I meant what I said about... about you staying and helping. I know this can't be easy for you. Being here like this. Hey, uh, where else am I gonna go? If I leave, they're gonna make me get back this really cool hat, so I'm starting to like this hat. Okay. All right. Now I gotta get back to work. This yeast is ready to fill up like half a dozen petri dishes. Okay. Save me some of the viral proteins. I got an appetite out here. I'll do that. Lieutenant Whitaker out.
were trying to get the Shemult, and we ran into the biggest goddamn whore you've ever seen! Damn it! Move your asses! Come on! Move! You heard the Corporal! Now, Corporal, listen to me very carefully. Get your men out of there. We are not ready to engage. Do you copy me? Yes, sir! You don't gotta tell me twice! Russell out! Come on, move it! Let's go! We're pulling out! Let's go, go, go! Corporal St. John, report to me at command. Colonel Garrett, yes sir, I'll be right there. Corporal St. John out. Come on, boy. Don't give up on us. Tell us where your camp is. Maybe we'll let you live. Fuck you. <laughs> Bring him down! I don't think he can hear us. Let's see if we can do something about that. I'm not telling you shit. Come on! Cut him! Can you hear him? Get him the fuck, fuck out of here! here. Come on! Uh, uh, what do you think? Maybe we can turn this in at that army camp. And get some credits. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm coming, Taylor. Just gotta find a way in.
That did it. That's the last of them. I just gotta find a way in. Got it. Taylor. Um, you know, I've had better days, I'll be honest with you. Okay. Uh, Jesus. Okay, listen to me, pal. Take this, hold it against your head like that. Good. Now, I want you to uh, wait here. I'm gonna go radio uh, Captain Curry. He's gonna send someone to pick you up, all right? All right, man. Uh, yeah, hell yeah. Captain Corey, this is Corporal St. John. Come back. This is Corey. I'm here with Lieutenant Whitaker, checking on your progress. Corporal, I told Captain Curry that you're an immense help. I don't know what I would do without you. Oh, well, thank you. That's great. I, it's not why I'm checking in. Captain, uh, there's a marauder camp just off of South Rim Drive. Marauders? This close to the island? Uh, listen, no, no, no. Um... I dealt with these bastards, but we have an injured man, Private Taylor. They fucking slice his ear off. Jesus. What was he doing out there? Anyway, you were saying. Private Taylor. What was he doing out there? Yeah, he's gonna live. But no, no idea what he's doing out here. I need you to send docu uh, Captain Jimenez and some men to come out and get him. I'll send you the coordinates. I'll head up there now and let him know. Hurry up. Taylor, how you doing, buddy? Like I said, man, I've, I've had better days. Uh, <laughs> hey, I think the bleeding stopped. Oh, no, no, it hasn't. <laughs> uh, help is on the way. You hang tight. Uh, you want me to come back? Wait with you? No, oh, oh, hell no, no, no. I mean, I, I already feel like a little bitch, you know. I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine, really. I'll stop by the infirmary later and see how you're doing. Hey, I've seen that thing. It's pretty cushy. Way better than being out here, let me tell you. <laughs> yeah, 
this unit too. Uh, don't give the doc too much trouble. Huh? You got that? Deacon out. Here. I should be able to climb up here. The model of Hulk Store.
Sarah, are you there? I've um, got the silicate you requested. Corporal St. John, yes, I'm here. I'm in a meeting with Lieutenant Weaver. Corporal St. John, what are you doing another run for me? Uh, I don't know. Um. Weaver. Corporal, report in to me when you get back to the island. Lieutenant Whitaker out. Fucking Weaver now. What the fuck is he doing? Hey, Doc. You there? This is Corporal St. John, Doc Jimenez. I'm back. Uh, St. John, how's the arm? Good. Good. Uh, that ointment, or whatever it is that he gave me, it's some. Um, yeah, it's pretty great. I'll be the judge of that. Hey, so I'm actually just checking in to see, uh, well, to see how well you know Lieutenant Weaver. Lieutenant Weaver? I know him as well as I know any of the officers. Why? I don't know. I'm just, uh, I'm, I'm doing some runs for them, for him and Lieutenant Whitaker, and it just, it seems like he's, um, I don't know, he's, he's in her face all the time, and, uh, I don't fucking like it. Lieutenant Whitaker can take care of herself. Listen to me, St. John. The Colonel tolerates a certain amount of razzing amongst the officers. If I were you, I'd stay out of it. All right, Doc. And don't worry about Lieutenant Weaver. He's no saint, but I've met worse. Him and his help. Ow. Deacon, uh, Corporal, so, man, I gotta tell you something. Okay. I knew you from before. Well, not personally, you know, but I'm from Farewell. Same as you. And me and my friends, we used to watch you guys around town. The, the mongrels, I mean. Riding those hogs, wearing your leathers. Man, we thought you guys were so badass. Right. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, man. Had a lot of free time on my hands. I, uh, I, um, had to drop out of high school, you know, um, knocked up my girlfriend, <laughs> had to get a job. Hey, if you ever decide to, you know, start up an MC, mongrels, whatever, just count me in, okay? I'm down. Yeah, don't hold your breath. Sure, man. Yeah, no, just, just saying. Deke, uh, Corporal. See you, man. Hey, Deke. That uh, corporal. Hey, Sergeant. Oh, big spender. Credit burning a hole in your man purse or what? Well, yeah, makes sense. I'd do that if I had enough credits, you know. Corporal St. John. I'll see you around, yeah? Weaver, I swear to God. What, are you afraid of a little competition? God, get out! Hey, is there a problem? Ma'am. Just a friendly discussion, Corporal. Lieutenant. What's that all about? <sighs> Nothing, it's just... Weaver, he thinks that the answer to everything is just to burn it all to the ground. God, fuck him. Yeah, fuck him. Here. Thank you. No, don't. What now, Deacon? Thank me. Don't thank me. Every time you thank me, I end up outside with another one of your bullshit requisition forms. My bullshit? Uh, That's what you think this is? Uh, Everything I, I that I'm doing is just that. bullshit? No! Of course you didn't mean it. You know, I don't understand why you're still here. Well, then let me enlighten you. I spent the last two years killing freaks. One by one, up close, so close that I could smell the flesh rotting between their teeth. So if you're working on something here that's gonna take them all out at once, fuck it, I'm in. But if you don't want me here, you know what? Just give the order, ma'am. 
Deacon, wait. I'm sorry, okay? Look, I, I do need... I just... Appreciate your help. Can I help you? Sorry, just wandering around. Think. St. John, you there? Yeah, I'm here. Many of you have been with me from the beginning. Listen to me when I warned about the coming of God's plague. Journeyed with me to this place. Helped me to build this ark. But whether you were with us from the beginning, or joined our ranks only today. You are now part of this great endeavor. You are now part of our mission to save mankind. I want to remind you, as you go forth beyond these walls to perform your duties, that we are still searching for material worthy of safekeeping within the Ark. We seek textbooks, manuals, Encyclopedia, discs, and other media. Lieutenant Weaver has listed several books on chemistry that are needed. Lieutenant Whitaker has listed books on biochemistry, genetics, and biology that we are lacking. Captain Jimenez has listed books on medicine, anatomy, and surgical procedures that we need. Sergeant Tomlinson has listed books on highway construction, mechanical engineering. And Captain Hawkins is always looking for material related to agriculture and hydroponics. So, while you're out doing runs, keep an eye out for items like these. Do your part to help us fill the Ark. Company dismissed. St. John to Whitaker, I, uh... Uh, Corporal St. John, yes. Matt, the Colonel is here. I was just telling him how helpful you were. Corporal St. John? Yes, Lieutenant Whitaker has been singing your praises. Just doing my job, Colonel. Uh, sir. I'm glad. Lieutenant Whitaker's work is well behind schedule, perhaps with your help. Matt, I told you. Biology, the work that I'm doing, is far more complicated than just building a bomb. Weaver is... Lieutenant Weaver is ahead of schedule. If you don't make similar progress, I'm going to have to pull resources from you and give them to him. Is that clear, Lieutenant? Yes, sir, Colonel. Carry on. Uh, is everything okay? It sounds a lot like... Sorry, I have to go. St. John, this is Colonel Garrett. Report. Yes, sir. Corporal, yes. This is of the utmost urgency. Soldier, the officer, let's go ahead. Yes, sir. A traitor of the worst kind. He murdered two enlisted men and stole a bike from the motor pool. He's been spotted on the 
South Rim Drive. The stolen bike has a blue tank. Find him. Yes, sir. I'll chase him down. Corporal, bring him back. Alive. Alive, sir. We're going to hang him, Corporal. An example for anyone who thinks they are... <laughs> Example for anyone who thinks they are above militia regulations, who thinks they are above the laws of God. Ah, uh, yes, sir. Dismiss, Corp. Gotta find Weaver's shit. Polystyrene. <laughs> oh, I smell a nest. Gotta be right here. Another nest. Let's go. Uh, gonna need more. Oh, here's some. Gotta be close to a nest. Whew, I can smell it. <laughs> Almost enough. Just a few more. This ought to do it. I'll mark the rest on my map. Have Corey send some men out here to get the rest.
now. Okay, let's take a look around. Wait, no, not this way. Colonel, I've spotted him. Remember, Corporal, I want him alive. Yes, sir, Colonel. I'll get him. St. John out. Great. Come on, you asshole. Damn it! No! <laughs> What the hell? Going AWOL is one thing, but you didn't have to murder two men to do it. Michael, please, just let me go. I'll, I'll tell you where I stashed you, I swear. Sorry, pal. I told to the Colonel. Colonel, I've got him. Alive. Transmitting coordinates now. Corporal, good. I'm sending a patrol now. Come oh. back to me. Carry it out.
Hey, I uh, got the shit you were asking for. Oh, good, good. Send it down over there. Let me get a piece. Okay. It's good. So how are things going with Lieutenant Whitaker? How do you mean? <laughs> I see you coming and going, man. You're doing a lot of runs for her. Yeah, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> okay, man. Yeah, I tried to hit that once when I first got here. Is that right? Oh, yeah, dude. I mean, that lady's got a fine ass. I'm an ass man. I can't help myself. Yeah, yeah. How'd that work out for you? Well, not too good. I mean, she threw me down on the ground, tried to break my goddamn arm. Listen up. You need to watch yourself with her. That lady's intense. Yeah, I'm gonna keep that in mind. Uh, you know anything else? Uh, no, but grab these and follow me. Lady's got a fine ass. You see, polystyrene is an aromatic hydrocarbon, while gasoline is made up of simple aliphatic hydrocarbons. You try saying that. Anyway, mix the two together, all those molecular chains break up into single covalent bonds. Yeah, everybody knows that. friend is a napalm molotov uh, <laughs> and that is how we're gonna win this war once i fine-tune the formula that shit's gonna burn hotter than an acetylene torch <laughs> know how hot that is yeah i got a pretty good idea i worked in an auto shop you need anything else nah man i'm good so goddamn close <laughs> kaboom <laughs> gonna blow up and burn son taking it to the ass Sarah. Yeah, just um, put it on the counter, will you? Okay. I'm I'm sorry. It's this is just really frustrating for me sometimes. I wouldn't know. Uh, I, I just need another requisition form. No, you know what? I'm I, I'm not going to give this one to you. Why? Why not? So I'm gonna go with you this time. Let's go. Come on, soldier. See if you can keep up with me. Yeah, right. When's the last time you went on a run? I mean, you know, out in the shit. Hey, I've done supply runs like anyone else. Though I gotta admit, it's been a while. Do you even have a bike? Yeah, but uh, <clears throat> I think I'm gonna ride with you on this run. No chance of us getting separated that way. Yes, ma'am. Stop with... Hey, you uh, you been inside the Ark yet? Uh, the cave's here, yeah. I got the grand tour when I arrived. From the Colonel himself. Come on, even you gotta give the man some credit. For the vision, it's stockpiling, preparing, saving what we can. Yeah, well, I'll give him this. This island is a goddamn fortress. Nothing's gonna get in here without a hell of a fight. Exactly. Here, this is my tent. Wow, nice place. It's got that woman's touch. Right. I'm hardly ever here, and most nights I usually spend it on a cot in the lab. 
me this. This will get the job done. It was a gift from Matt when I first joined up. Matt? The Colonel. Oh, Jesus, come on, Deacon. It's just a gun. Come on. Let's go this way. I want to show you something. Following you. When I got here, the militia had cut down almost every tree on the island. I asked Matt, the colonel, to save the last one. Oh, yeah? Well, why did you, uh, do that? Do you remember the weekend we rode up here? To Crater Lake, I mean, after we got married. Uh, yeah, I, I, I remember. I remember thinking, God, when Mount Mazama blew up, and how long did it take the lava to cool and the soil to form, all these trees to grow? When all this is over, when we leave this fucking island, I want there to be at least one tree left. Uh, listen, these guys don't give a shit about any of that. I've, I've been through their dead zone. Look, the Colonel's focused on winning the war. The sooner I do my part, the sooner he'll stop burning everything to the ground. One of the guys came back, said he shot a deer. It was infected. What's wrong? No, nothing. It's just... <sighs> Never mind. Hold on, uh... Hold on tight. There's a community college east of here, off the highway. You know the one? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's take the south bridge. It'll be faster. I'm with you. Hey, so I gotta ask, uh, all this stuff, the, the yeast, the silicon... Why do I need it? The weapon I'm working on is a side. If I can isolate the virus that causes the cells to mutate, I can kill it. Okay. I mean, how did you get out? Well, we almost didn't. After the feds pulled out, anyone still alive started putting up roadblocks of their own, and they started shooting people on sight. We somehow made it to that refugee camp where we, were, we thought that you were going to be waiting, but like I said, it was gone. So we tried a few others, same story, no survivors, everything overrun. So within a week, the whole damn valley was a war zone. People were killing each other over scraps of food, sometimes killing each other for no reason at all. If Boozer and I hadn't stuck together, I don't think we would have made it. Wait, Boozer? He's alive? Where is he? What happened to him? Yes, he's alive, but he's he's at a camp up north. He can't ride anymore because because he lost his arm. But uh but he is alive. I'm so glad he's alive. I I'm really sorry. I, I should have asked you about him sooner. Don't worry about it. Okay, uh, my turn. Look, it's gonna sound stupid, but, um, but that night in Farewell, my mongrel's ring, do you still have it? Deacon, I'm sorry. It's the Colonel's policy. They, they confiscate all jewelry when you come into the camp. They melt down the gold and silver to use in Weaver's project or whatever the hell. I forgot all about it. I'm, I'm really sorry. Uh, no, don't worry about it. I don't know. I was just thinking out loud. It doesn't matter. Here, I think this is it. Been here before. 
before? Once. Before, you know, career day. They invited me to give a presentation on exciting careers in biochemistry. God. What? Nothing, just looking back, it should have been a talk on how to survive the end of the world. Come on. How are we gonna get through this? Should we find a way around? No, uh, hold on, I can boost you up there. You ready? Yeah. Uh, you got it? <clears throat> got it. Here, watch your head. Got it. <clears throat> Jesus, what the hell happened here? This is one of the earliest survivor camps, set up before they figured out that hordes like to run along the main highways. It was dead long before I got here. This entire place is gonna be crawling. Yeah. Do you know where we're going? Like I said, I've only been here once, but I think the science building is back there. I don't want to bring the whole place down in this. We don't even know what's in there. Well, we know what's in there, but you got damn news. Now, come on, let's just go around. We're not getting through here. No. Uh, whoever was living here jammed the place up pretty good. How about through here? The door's locked, but it doesn't look barricaded. Can you jimmy it? I uh, think I can get this. Ah, there. That did it. Through here, looks clear. Coming. Here, uh, help me move this. Hold on, okay. Are you ready? Push! <laughs> There. We're just gonna pull them down on top of each other, so... Wait a second, what if... You come up on top of here. You lay down covering fire. <laughs> you take out the strikers, I'll take out the rest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, 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 I do this all the time. Just keep up a steady stream of fire, all right? Deacon. Once I'm through... Just close this up to me. Come on down. It's clear. You okay? God, Jesus, that was a little too close. No, we had it all the way. Gunfire's gonna bring in more. Yeah, we'll be long gone by then. Where now? Uh, I don't know. Uh, they got the place barricaded up pretty good. Uh, see if there's a hole in any of these walls. Place where we can climb up. All right, I'll look over here. Anything? Hey, over here, there's an open window. Coming. <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I got it. 
Hold on, let me find something. Uh, Sarah? Hold on. I gotta find something I can throw down. Oh, shit! Oh, Deacon! Oh, shit, shit, shit! God damn it! Uh, just find something for me to climb on! I'm on it! Laughing. I don't know. <sighs> you know, I, I remember you were always trying to talk me into going back to school. Oh, yeah, well. <laughs> and now you finally got your way. <laughs> <laughs> well, better late than never. Oh, okay. Thanks. <sighs> you ready? Mm hmm. Let's go. All right. Here, let me go first this time. Yes, ma'am. Whatever you say. It's like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Maybe one did. Come on. What? I think we can get through here. The door's jammed. Here. Mm -hmm. I got this. I got it. See? I told you. <laughs> See? Like I said, I got this. Good job. Thanks. So, uh, how badly do you need this piece of equipment? All right, we're almost there. We're not giving up now. I'm just asking. Well, now we know how the freaks were getting in. Someone needed to learn how to park. It looks clear. I got a use for you. More barricades, and they're everywhere. Huh. Uh, check the buildings. I can see the science building. It's over there. Just gotta get through these barriers. Hey! Another open window. Got it. Here, let me boost you up again. Uh, only this time you... Don't take so long finding something for you to climb. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Got it! Okay, hold on. Hey, and try not to attract any more swarmers this time, all right? Sure, yeah, I'll see what I can do. Get off of me! Damn it, Sarah! 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 No! Damn it! No! Sarah! Sarah! Where are you? Come on, answer me! If anything's happened to you, Sarah! I'm gonna kill every one of you fucking bastards! Sarah! It's. There's so many of them. I just kept coming. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. You're okay. Come on. I'm fine. Come on, we're almost there.
This is the science building. Yeah, it looks like this place has been shut up tight from the inside. Come on, there's got to be a way in. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. I've killed Freeze before. No, I know, I know. It's just... Deacon, I'm fine. Let's go. Let's check this door. Can you open it? No, it's jammed from the inside. Let's go around the building. There has to be a way in. Well, I'm telling you, someone sealed it tight from the inside. Well, we gotta check, right? It's okay. I'm sure jammed we'll like all the rest. Another way. Oh, shit. Wait, what the Hold fuck? on, hold on for a second. Those are. Those are newts. They're inside. Those are newts in there, which means. Well, there's gotta be a way up from the roof. Come on. Come on, the roof's lower over here. Yep, we just have to find a way up. Sarah, here, uh, help me push this. We can use it to climb up. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Okay, push! <laughs> Far enough? Yeah, yeah, hold up. You got it? Yeah. Okay, be ready. Newts can get pretty nasty when you trespass on their territory. I just really wish we had to kill them. the last of them. You enjoyed that? What, killing newts? No, but... I mean, you gotta admit, they're pretty goddamn annoying. You're right about that. Here, give me your hand. Okay. <clears throat> Careful. Steady. They smell like shit. Yeah, well, you try living like them. See how you smell after two years. No, thanks. Where, where, where are we going? Try these doors. Uh, one of these is gonna be a lab or a lecture room. Centrifuge has to be here somewhere. Jesus. 
Over here. Is that the uh, centrifuge you were looking for? Yep, this is it. Come on. Okay. It's gonna get. Let's move. Sort of noticed that. There's more of them, a lot more. We're gonna have to clear them up before we can get to the bike. You got any more of those smoke grenades? Yeah. We're up here, you can see the entire park. I watch where I'm going, and then you throw the grenades ahead of me. You got it? Got it. Okay, let's do this. Hold on. I'm coming to you. Hey, 
You all right? Am I all right? What's wrong with you? Oh, I don't know. It's just that I remember the day that I met you. You fired my gun in the air to scare those rednecks, and you're so scared you couldn't stop shaking. Yeah, well, a lot's changed since then. Come on, let's get the hell out of here. What, uh, happened to you, Sarah? What's that supposed to mean? Hey, look, I get it. A lot's changed. Everyone we knew is gone, but it doesn't explain. Explain what, Deacon? Why everyone in the good old boys club calls me the Wizard Island Witch? Look, I don't give a shit about any of that. I... Nothing's happened to me that hasn't happened to every other fucking person on this planet. Yeah. Okay. If you say so. Come on, let's go this way. Right behind you. Can I say thank you? No. <laughs> okay. You know, I just wanted to let you know how much I needed this. Sorry, no idea what I'm doing. My brothers and sisters in arms, I stand here before you in celebration. The end is nigh. Captain Curry has been working non-stop assembling and training our army. Lieutenant Whitaker has been working tirelessly on a biological weapon that will allow us to kill hundreds of freaks at once. Lieutenant Weaver is working on a chemical weapon that will allow us to burn down entire hordes. Soon, slash and burn will be a thing of the past. We will go from fighting a defensive war to an offensive war, right. yes. yeah. as we take yeah. the fight to the freaks, as we work to retake our world. And behold, he said, the enemy who sowed them is the devil, and the harvest is the end of the age, and the reapers are angels, and they will gather out of his kingdom all evil, and throw them into the furnace of fire. Yeah. In that place, there will be weeping and wailing and gnashing of teeth. We, the Deschutes County Militia, are those avenging angels. And we are coming. Company dismissed.
Taylor, what's going on? Man, can you believe this shit? Fucking Captain Curry's got me on guard duty. Don't like, something's gonna happen to the dock in the middle of all of this. Yeah, it's a tough job, but I'm sure you got it covered. All right? Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's going on with you, man? You got some, uh, some saddle sores or something? Need a dock to lube you all up? How's the ear? What? I can't hear you. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you, man. I'm feeling no pain, brother. Doc's got me on some oxy. Shit, it's tight. I'm fine, man. I'm fine. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey. Uh, I saw the lieutenant earlier. She was trying to get something from the dock. Yeah? Yeah, I thought you'd want to know. All right, well, thanks. See you around, Taylor. Yeah, man. Mr. Rasbien, you'll be fine. Just don't start any bar fights. <laughs> no promises, Doc. <laughs> you know, me parece... It's, I was thinking it's been a while since I've been in the shit. I'm getting soft. Me estoy hablando. <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you're serious. You want to go on a run with me? I used to ride myself before the world went to hell, you know. All right, well, let's go. Corporal? Doc? Going someplace? Coronel, it's been a while since I've been on a run. I was going to go oh, and go no, 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 no. I don't think so. Cor Coronel? No entiendo. I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. If anything were to happen to you, you can't be replaced. This Sir, I can look out for him. You Dismissed, Corporal. <laughs> Matt, I've been out in the shit before. I understand. But again, if anything were to happen to you, I, I don't know what I'd do if I... I don't know what I'd do if I lost you. Well, that's it. That's as far as I can go. How can I help? You can't, unless you have a DNA synthesizer somewhere. <sighs> no, but uh, there's an auto parts store near Fort Klamath that Dude, I could you check can't out. get what I need there. You... <laughs> How do you think I would learn? I actually think I know where you'd get one. Really? Yeah, your old lab. Cloverdale. Okay, yeah, that's great. All we have to do is find a way over the mountains. Yeah, you're right. That would be impossible. My God, you know a way over, don't you? Good, you can take me. Is that an order, Lieutenant? Yes. No, I'm just... I mean, no, it's not an well, order. Which is it? Well, I don't know. Are you going to take me or not? Dress warm, pack light. Hey, Deke. Oh, my God. If you say thank you one more time, I... Let me know when you're ready to go. Going somewhere, Lieutenant? Colonel, Captain. Yes, we're heading out to retrieve a piece of equipment that I need. I see. How's your work progressing? Good. Good. With Deke Corporal St. John's help, I've been able to make some good progress. Thank you for assigning him to my project. Well, Lieutenant Weaver's also been making progress. He says he'll be ready to test his chemical weapon by the end of the week. I heard. Mine will be ready soon. You realize you are more valuable than any piece of equipment. Equipment can be replaced. You cannot. I've been in a ship before, Matt. You know that I can handle myself. Carry on, Lieutenant. Corporal. I'd like to see Weaver's equipment right now. I'd like to see what he's doing. I'd like to stick on his status. What is that all about, anyway? What? All the yes sirs and no sirs and the saluting and the ranks and the uniforms just seems kind of pointless, you know, considering. Hey, you were in the army once. You should know. That was different. How? 
Well, there were more people in the world, I don't know. I mean, having a military made more sense. I think it makes more sense now. Why? It's utter fucking chaos out here. We need the order and discipline or we're not gonna make it. You know, I've been in plenty of camps that are doing just fine without having a colonel breathing down their necks. You know what's funny? About uniforms and ranks seeming pointless, I mean? No, oh, what? I used to think the same thing about the MC. I mean, you guys had ranks like road captain and president. I mean, you wore badges and patches and, and tats like uniforms. I mean, when you guys used to all ride together, you looked like an army. Well, except for beards and bikes. Now that you mention it, I, I can see your point. You know, I'm actually surprised you weren't wearing the cut when you came into the camp. I didn't think anything would make you give that up. Even the end of the world. Okay, so my cut, huh? We're gonna have to see if the colonel will let me switch uniforms. You know, there is that. Was that here when you came over the pass? Yeah, but the soldiers stationed there were having, a uh, bear problems. Bear problems? You're gonna have to turn around, buddy. We got orders to keep anyone from- To keep anyone from what, Corporal? I'm sorry, ma'am, I didn't see it was you. It's, it's the Colonel, ma'am. He's given us orders to keep an eye out for anyone going AWOL. Are you accusing me of going AWOL? No, ma'am. Then get out of my way. <sighs> Corporal, what are you still doing there? Get the hell out of my way. Yes, ma'am, I'm sorry, ma'am. I'll have to report this. Yeah, you do that. Well, that sounds serious. What do you mean? Well, he said he's gonna report you. I mean, how's Matt gonna take that? The Colonel will tell him to mind his own fucking business and to never question an officer. Oh my god. What's wrong? Nothing, it's just... I mean, the view up here, it, it's incredible. Uh, yeah. I guess I just don't see it anymore. Uh, pay attention to it, I mean. How can you not? It's, it's breathtaking. Yeah, the world wakes up, grateful for another dawn. Hey, if you spent all day staring into a microscope, you might appreciate it more. Oh, I appreciate it. You know, being around when the morning comes up is a hell of a lot better than the alternative. I gotta be honest. You know, there were times when I didn't believe that. About, you know, hoping to see another day. Yeah, I know the feeling. What kept you going? I mean, back then. Uh, I, I don't know. Just, uh, too goddamn stubborn to give up, I think. I don't believe you. I did give up, Sarah. I did. And then, I, I don't know. Boozer's arm got fucked up. And I had to, I, I, I mean, I wasn't going to let him die, you know, so... Watching him struggle to keep going when he had no reason, no fucking reason at all. I guess I didn't want to... I didn't want to let him down. So I, I didn't want to go out that way. And then I found out that that you were still alive in that. That's, that's when I really wanted to... That's when I really wanted to kill myself. <laughs> yeah, right. No, seriously. But uh, then I remembered you still had my mongrel's ring. And that's, that's what kept me going. Figured I'd look you up, get it back. You know how that turned out. Shit. Exactly. Things are gonna get better, you know that, right? Yeah. Yeah. We can win this thing, Deacon. We can. You trying to convince me or you? Must be getting close, right? Yeah, we're coming up on the Tealson Tunnel. We need your help to move that out of the way. What the hell is that? That is a sigil. It's a warning sign from the Rippers. What's a Ripper? 
Rippers. Rest in peace. They were a cult. They caught themselves. They worshipped the freaks. They wanted to be like them. And, um, <laughs> you could see what happened if you didn't want to be like them. How do we deal with them if we run into them? We ain't gonna run into them. You gonna help me move this or what? Yeah, sure. Okay, hang on. This is gonna be a tight squeeze. Jesus. No wonder everyone gave up their cars. This is nothing. There's a tunnel up in the old Belknap Road that Boozer and I rode through all the time. Traffic had been backed up at a Nero checkpoint for about a mile when everything got overrun. Sounds horrible. I seem worse, but yeah. This looks familiar. Yeah, yeah, it's right up here. see this place again. Okay, all right, the power's still on. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. There's a solar array on the main rooftop. I think I also heard rumors about a nuclear-powered generator, but I never saw it. Okay, well, how the hell are we gonna get in? Here, I'll show you. Like you said, power is still on, right? Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte facility. It has been 751 days since your last login. Please wait. Well, you guys are a little more high-tech than I remember. It's not really that impressive. Ari's not intelligent. She's like a souped-up smartphone app. Ari? Artificial intelligence response interface. <clears throat> oh, my God. What is it? Nothing. It's... What the hell? Look at this. There's so much food here. Sarah, this should be... It, it, it's the irrigation system. It's all self-automated. So as long as the power's on, this is self-sustaining. Oh, wow. Well, shit. This place has everything. It's got food. It's got water. It's got power. It's got a big fucking fence. I'm surprised no one is uh, camped out here. Well, it's like you said. The power is still on. That's 8,000 volts telling everyone to keep the fuck out. <gasps> See? Come on.
made them so hyper-aggressive. Makes them a pain in my ass. I think we should be okay as long as we're quiet. Okay. Come on. Hi. What the hell happened here? I don't know. What? Sarah, these, uh, these people all worked here, right? Did you know them? Yeah. Yeah, I knew them. Go, oh, come on. So someone shot them all as they were what? Trying to leave? I mean, yeah, it looks like it. And then they just locked the place up tight and they left. Why would they do that? I don't know, Deacon. I don't know, I wasn't here. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Shit. This one's not working. Come on, there's another one over here. So, okay, so why is, um, what'd you call it, Aerie? Why is Aerie working at the front gate and not the front door? Honestly, I'm surprised she's working at all. I remember the guys in the IT department constantly complaining about the system going down, and... That was with weekly maintenance. <laughs> now it's been, what, two years? I don't understand why these aren't working. Hey, sir. What? You know how you said that no one could get in here? Yeah? Why? Maybe they're already here. <gasps> Motherfucker. My God, you're right. They've locked me out. Hey! Hey, let us in! We're not here to hurt you, and we're not here to stay! Oh, God, let us in! Is there another way in? Yeah. Yeah, I've got an idea. Come on. There's a fire escape in the back of the maintenance building. But why won't they have that locked out, too? We don't know that they've locked out anything. I mean, it's probably just a glitch. The emergency exits can't be locked out. They're part of Cloverdale's safety protocols. Here, this is it. I just have to figure out how to get up there. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I can shoot the latch. Got it. Good shot. You done that before? Yeah, once or twice.
I don't know about this. Why don't you let me go in first? I, I don't know what happened back there in the parking lot, but I'm telling you, there's no way anyone could have gotten in past this fence. I know these people. And if Jim's in there, he's gonna Jim, let us in. Jim? Jim, the rent -a cop Jim? <sighs> Jim, who almost shot me when I tried to pick you Deacon, up. Deacon, that was so long ago, and a lot's changed since then. <sighs> yeah, not for the better. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Good afternoon, Sarah Irene Whitaker. Welcome back to Cloverdale Research Iron Butte Facility. It has been seven minutes since your last login. Please wait. See, I told you. Those other doors must have been bugged or something. Ready? Get down. Mother fuck you. were saying? Yeah. This world is top of anything. Trust no one. Expect the worst. I'm beginning to see your point on that. Stay up here and give me a fire. Do whatever you can. Got it. I'll signal you when it's clear. Security personnel to the maintenance building. If you get a clear shot, will you shoot those goddamn speakers? The voice is driving me fucking crazy. I'm with you there. Warning. Deadly force is authorized for use against all trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. It's clear. Coming. are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. It's clear. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Whitaker, ID 2007659. Sarah Irene Whitaker. Security has been breached. The Cloverdale facility is in lockdown. Repeat. Override. ID 2007659. Override. Deadly force Security protocol for Alpha 761 has been overridden. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. They must not have locked out under security. You ready? Yeah, this time, let me go in first. Hey. This time, we go in together. Alert! Alert! 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you Shit. will not be harmed. Snipers, up there on the roof. I see him. What do you think? You're walking away from this? Alert! Alert! This is a level 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659, security override and disable the fucking voice Alert. response. Alert. Well, ready? Jim, wait! That son of a bitch! Well, like you said, a lot's changed. It's clear. 
Same here. Alert. Alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Okay, it's clear. Alert. Alert. They're this is a level speech. 4 alarm. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Come on, let's try the door. Sarah Irene Whitaker, ID 2007659. Security override and disable the fucking voice response. Access denied. Warning. Sarah Deadly Irene Whitaker, your security clearance has been revoked. Please see an Deadly IT administrator for assistance. Fucking bitch! Hey, hey! Going in that way would have been a death trap anyway. Every gun on the other side of that door is aimed right here. Alert. We need a better Alert. plan. Has oh, yeah, called. you got one? Police are on their <laughs> well, maybe. Stand down uh, like, is hard. there a way to that rooftop from here? Over here. Alert. Alert. This is a level four alarm. Multiple shots. There's a ledge out here. You should Security be able to climb up to the roof from that AC unit. Building. You mean you should be able to climb up from there? Listen, I want you to go up there, lay down suppressing fire, keep their attention. When they're all looking up, I'm gonna go in from here, I'm gonna take them by surprise. Deadly force okay, yeah, that's a really good plan. But uh, there's, uh, there's one problem with it. Deadly force What's that? Is authorized. The door's locked out, remember? <sighs> Shit. Come on, come on, I have an idea. <clears throat> what? Alert, alert. 911 has been called. Police are on their way. Stand down and you will not be harmed. Put your hand on that reader. Wait, what Alert. are you doing? Alert. Yes, I'm in. Okay, they locked out security, but they forgot the admin codes. From this station, security I can get you a temporary access to code. Alright, here's your ID code. Ready? Uh, yeah. Your full name and ID 5429009. You got that? Uh, 5429009. Is, uh, is that right? For use yes, let's all go. Trespassers. Warning. Deadly force is authorized. Alert. Alert. <clears throat> Here. I'm gonna need you to help me up. Okay. Ready? Stand yep. And you, will <clears throat> you got it? <clears throat> yeah. <sighs> Alert. Alert. This is a hey, level don't take alarm. any chances. Multiple shots have been fired. Security personnel to the maintenance building. Okay. Go. Hey, what's going on? Deacon Lee St. John, ID 54290 St. John, welcome to the Oakdale Facility. Disable voice response. Come on, get her! Damn it, you listen to me! Here we go. Oh, the hell with you! Alert. Alert. Don't 
Don't shoot him! Don't shoot him! Don't shoot him! Get up! Don't shoot him! We need him alive! Oh, God damn it! I said hands! All right, all right, just, just tell me what you want. Okay, all right. He's clean! We were just defending ourselves. Get down there. All the dead people outside, Jim. You know, the ones you shot in the head? I don't know what you're talking about. I mean, what was it, huh? What were they trying to do? Get home to their families, maybe bring them back here? But you didn't want that, did you? <laughs> we just couldn't take the risk. Get up. What? What? Wait. I can't. Don't make me. Jim, I'm gonna count to three. No, 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 no. One. You don't understand. Two. Look, don't do this. Three. Open the goddamn door. All right, all right. you're doing thank you Jeff yes we know what we're doing you don't have to do this let me go I'm sorry we just can't take the risk <sighs> come on I want to get the hell out of here seen it when it first went in. I mean, we used to grow wild ginger and, and grape root here. And then all of this changed. They sealed everything off. They took away my clearance. God, David kept telling me. He kept telling me that something was wrong. Okay, okay. Who's, who's David? So David Gorman. He was this research intern. You know what I said? I told him that we're a farm and we're... we're high tech and all that shit and that there are billions of dollars at stake and to just leave it alone then he didn't listen he hacked the system he got behind the firewall he told me that this was some sort of classified project or something I don't classified know. project just he slow wanted, down and... he wanted to be the next Edward Snowden you see he wanted to blow the lid off of this entire thing David Gorman he exposes the evil empire and saves the world and all that shit and I didn't listen to him Deacon I told him that he was being paranoid and he must have broken in here and then gotten some sample of whatever the hell they were cooking in here well, I don't understand what do you mean I pieced it together in myself a little while later the night that I was stabbed I, I went to the Cloverdale office in farewell and I went to, to go try and find David but he was already gone He'd been gone for two weeks. There was this big green expo in Portland. He must have gone to see a reporter. He was probably infected and he didn't even know it yet. Oh my God. And two days later, two days later, everybody at that conference was infected and then they all got on planes and they went home. And a week later, two and a half billion people were dead. Sarah, this isn't, this couldn't be your fault. I mean, you couldn't have stopped them. You How don't could understand. You have stopped them? It's, it's the research. My research was a part of this. Deacon, I was a part of this. They, they used me. <laughs>
Hey, uh, hold on for a second. Sir. Uh, the electric fences, how would I turn them off? Uh, the power relays are in a building by the greenhouse is why. Okay, um, it's just that there's a lot of food here, and I was thinking about radioing Boozer, letting him and Ricky know, letting Lost Lake Camp know. Do you think you could load that up? Yeah, sure. Okay, um, I'm gonna be right there. Okay. Now I just gotta jimmy that door. Got it. Boozer, it's, it's Deacon. Come back. Lost Lake Camp, is anyone there? Deke? Deke, is that you? Yeah, Boozer, it's me. Hey, it is good to hear from you, brother. Good to hear from you, too. Listen, I don't... I got a lot of time. Uh, the, the research facility that Sarah used to work at, the one near Iron Butte, the one near the Ripper... You know the one that I'm talking about, right? So listen, there's food here. Lots of food, corn, so tell Ricky, tell Iron Mike, tell him to send someone. Wait, you found her? What, you found Sarah? Yeah, I found her. It was man, I found her. That is <laughs> awesome, Dick! When are you bringing her back, what, to Lost Lake? No, I'm not gonna get into that right now. Boozer. Lost Lake Camp, come in. Ah, oh, damn it. Uh, Lost Lake, come in. Ricky. Okay, good. Listen up. Uh, Deep? Yeah, yeah, it's me. Uh, listen, there's a. I don't think we hear from you again. Iron Mike said you weren't coming back. Uh, look, I don't have a lot of time. Listen, there's this. Did you find her? Yeah, yeah, I found her. Ricky? I'm glad, Deke. You were right. We made it. I'm glad she did, too. Deke? Yeah, okay, listen, there's this farm, okay? Uh, there's uh, power. It's got electrical fences. Electric fences, okay. And if you come here, it, ask Boozer. It's where Sarah used to work uh, by Iron Butte. He's going to know the place. You come over here, you're going to find food. You're going to find lots of food. <laughs> okay. Oh, how's he doing? Oh, um, good, good. You'll never believe who Iron Mike made head of security. Are you kidding? <laughs> wow, that's great. Um, <laughs> could you tell... You know what? Listen, I, I gotta go, Ricky. But, you know what? Wait a second, wait a second, wait a second. Ah, uh, that thing you said about, uh, lighting a candle. I think maybe you were right. I know. Ricky out. Bye, Ricky.
St. John, this is Curry. Where are you? One of my men reported that you went through his checkpoint at the Tielsen Pass. Yeah, Captain. Uh, there's a research facility in Iron Butte. It's, um, it's like Sarah, uh, Lieutenant Whitaker said, there's an important piece of equipment that she needed. And this was where... And this was the only place that she could get it. She's not answering her radio. The Colonel wants to know why... Did, uh, you talk to him? To Boozer? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I told him that you're fine and we're fine and that uh, I had to get moving because we have to try to make it over the pass before the weather turns. What do you think? I don't know. It doesn't look good. But it's worth a try, so, uh... Let's get moving. It's clear. Are you gonna come out and eat something? Warm again. Yeah. <clears throat> um, did you want to eat something or? Yeah. Yeah. God, I'm not even hungry. Yeah, neither am I. You call me here.
help you? I guess I'm just distracted. <laughs>